My check one two. My check one two three. Yeah, uh, here we got a uh, all stainless spinner baits are made of <laughs> needle point hooks. Please keep out of reach of children. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bowling for Bass. Today we are going to open up these two boxes. This right here is a Lucky Tackle Box and this right here is a Mystery Tackle Box. If you all don't know what these boxes are, what they basically are is a monthly subscription of lures that these companies send you each month. And they cost around $24, $25 a month and you can get you know coupons or rebates for buying more boxes per year and today we're going to start out with the lucky tackle box and then we'll move over to the mystery tackle box okay miss or lucky tackle box right here first thing that shows up in your box is a golden ticket every month they have a live stream show and there's your special number and a prize that you can win on there is fishing rods reels, a year subscription to Lucky Tackle Box, and a grand prize is a private trip, a private fishing trip with Bunkers TV, Andrew Flair, and Travis Morton. This is pretty cool. Okay, we're going to open this up. What they have in the box is a, uh, you know, a nice little sticker. You can place these anywhere, you know, rep the company. They give you this cool little book. It's got some uh, some coupons when you open open it up. Coupon Tackle Warehouse, and that's that's a good company right there. They have all kinds of baits, basically every bait you can think of. And it basically just gives you the prices and stuff of each bait. And then they have other boxes too, like trout fishing, pan fishing, fly fishing. Let me get into our baits. This right here is a Bradley Rattlin B minus. This here is pretty cool because it's a LTB exclusive. You know, if you're a subscriber for the box this month, you are the first person to ever throw this bait. That's pretty cool. I guess it's a little test trial. I'll take it out of the package here. Pretty cool in color. I like it. Don't know what color it is exactly. They didn't. They didn't say, but. Pretty cool. And this bait won't be available until 2017. So if you want to use it, just hit me up. I'll let y'all have a throw at it. <clears throat> Next on our list is a BD Series Swim Bait 4 inch. These right here are pretty cool. With this bait, I like to hook it up to a chatter bait or just put a you know, jig head on it and you know work it that way. Really nice tails. Tail is very floppy. Comes with three in the package. You'll probably buy something like this for like five bucks. Pretty cool. <clears throat> Next on our list is some mustad hooks. There's a two odd and four odd in here. Every season I go back through my crankbaits and lipless rail traps and I put these hooks on there because the hooks that are on the original. The original lures, they stink. If you catch a big bass, that hook's going to bend out or something like that, and you're going to lose it, and you're going to be in a lot of hurt, and you're going to be very, very mad. So these are pretty cool. Next on our list is something very unusual. I have never used it before. It's called a 401 Wobblehead. <clears throat> I think this is a 5 8 ounce. Yeah, 5 8 ounce. And this right here is kind of cool because you can... Hook it up to a, uh, a beaver plastic or, I don't know, maybe a, a crawl or something like that. What you do is you hook your line up here and you hook a, a hook back here and you know, put your plastic on the back of that. And this right here actually wobbles on the bottom of the surface and basically just keeps your bait down low. Very heavy, probably would use it in deep water. Pretty cool. Next on our list is a bait that is very, very unusual. This right here is called the BD Series <clears throat> Soft Plastic Hollow Body. 
very weird. This right here is actually a patent pending product. I wish that y'all could feel this because this right here actually feels like a, a hollow body frog. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's like silicone and it's pretty cool. Something that I'll definitely have to go out and throw sometime. I would definitely want to use this. Next on our list is a Duo Spin Bait 90. I don't know if y'all can see that. Take it out of the package. This bait's also unusual too. I've never actually used a bait like this before. I'm guessing it works just kind of like a, a jerk bait is, but you would jerk it a little less harsh, I guess I should say. But very cool. Got some spinners in the front, spinners in the back. Oh, don't hook myself. <laughs> Next on our list is some Cabin Creek Craws, 2.5 or 2.75 inch. These right here are green pumpkin and black copper. Pretty cool looking baits. Looks like they have some nasty uh, claw action right there. I'm guessing these right here are kind of, kind of spin in the water. Look pretty cool. And they got some blue flakes in there, so I would use this in like murky water. Very, very cool. And I'll link all the prices to these baits in the description below if y'all wanting to know. And with just this bait alone, it pays for, for half your box. So th these subscriptions are very, very awesome. Next on our list is the Mystery Tackle Box. Just like the Lucky Tackle Box, but it has different baits and it's pretty cool. Let's get checking in here. Give you a sticker, sponsored by Cat Co. or Catch Co. Pretty cool, put that in the back of your truck or something. First up is a Versa Shaft. Yeah, Versa Shaft Spinner Bait. White and Chartreuse. I throw this in a you know, heavy wind you know, around rift brass and stuff like that. Very nice. I like it. It's got some like neon in it too. I'll take that out and show it to y'all. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's some neon in it. That's pretty cool. Bass can really see that in the sun. And I am a big fan of the willow blades. I do not like the Indiana blades. Indiana blades are more of a, a rounded circle. I think that the bass like these better. That's just my personal preference. Next up on our list are some ribbon tail worms, green pumpkin. I don't know how long these are, probably 12 inch. These are here probably one of my favorite worms to throw besides the Senko. So all you have to do is pull your rod up and let it fall down. And very, very easy to use. Be beginners can use this bait. I mean, catch a very big bass on it. Big bait equals big bass. Definitely, definitely like this. And the smell of it is just horrendous. It smells like a garlic pantry up in here. Next on our list is some, some weightless flukes. So here got some watermelon red and then some white on the bottom of it. I'm guessing this right here is gonna represent like a baby bass or something like that. And what I would do to rig this up is just to get a, like a four odd or three odd hook, no weight, and just have this weight list and throw it and you give it a little action that tail does most of the work right there. Bass love it. Nice bait. Next up on our list is some Sun Perch 3.5 inch craws. Let's dig in here and see what they look like. Very nice, very nice. Put these on the on the end of a like a brown or a gold jig. Just some pretty cool, pretty cool arms. I don't know if y'all can see that. Nice craws, very cool. There's a lot of them in here too. There's nine of them. 
next on our list is a Emma Tennessee Shad jerk bait. This right here is a perfect, perfect fall time lure. Nice, kind of like a bluish green tint on top, white. Hooks are very, very sharp. These come with nice hooks. This right here is fairly expensive. If y'all want to look in the, script, the description below, I'll let you know how much they cost. Very nice bait. Last but not least is a Lucky Craft Sexy Shed. This, I love the Lucky Craft lures. They're probably one of my favorite. This right here is another perfect fall time, fall time lure. Dives about eight feet, eight to ten feet. Lucky Craft always has really good hooks. I just love these things. This right here is probably about fifteen bucks too. Then they give you some more stuff in here. A little book on all about fishing. There might be some coupons in here too. Yeah, there's some coupons right there. Very nice. Oh, they give you a card. If I can get this out. Give you a card saying how much each bait cost. Yeah, like I said, that's right that right there, 16 bucks. Crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my girlfriend over here and she's going to explain what I'm going to be doing with you know both these boxes and the baits that are inside of them. Hey guys, it's Aubrey, uh, Dalton's girlfriend. Um, so I'm going to briefly explain to you what it is we are doing with these boxes. So basically we just have a challenge and it's kind of like a boyfriend girlfriend challenge, but he's gonna be doing all the fishing. Um, so Dalton has chosen six lures, like total, from these two boxes. And his goal is to catch a bass, not, not a perch or anything, specifically a bass. He has to catch a bass on each lure. He does have a certain time frame that he has to get this done in. He has about two and a half hours. Uh, I'm giving him till about 5.30, so we'll start around 3, because uh, that's when the sun goes down. The catch to this is that the loser of this challenge has to eat sardines. And let me, let me state this clear. Neither of us have ever eaten a sardine before, and we think that the taste of them is nasty. We think. I don't know. I like fish personally. So who knows? I can't wait to see the outcome, see who wins. I really hope it's not uh, Dalton who wins. I really hope he loses, because <laughs> I do not want to eat sardines. All right, well, this concludes our video for today. Hopefully y'all liked it. You know, shoot me a comment, subscribe, like, those, those are always good. And stay tuned for the challenge. Can't wait to do this for y'all. And I win and she loses, even though that she just kind of doesn't do anything, I do all the work. <laughs> really? <laughs> she edits all the videos, so. I... How do these videos get made, my friend? <laughs> okay, well, thanks for watching. See you next time on Bone for Bass. Time to get real. <laughs> get it? Real? <laughs> get it, boy. <laughs>